Uh, Anarchy to seize power in Argentina. We shall probably see them join the Internationale um, soon. Will they go for... I mean, who's going to win the war in the South? Do you think uh, Brazil or do you think the Argentinian-Chilean alliance will come out on top? Scientists, science committee, of course. Knowledge is power. I mean, they cut. If they take Philadelphia, I, I, I don't believe in MacArthur's chances as, as much. Oh, so you have way less volunteers than you used to have. You're getting volunteers from six different countries, now you're getting them from basically nobody. So I'm not too exactly what happened, but apparently you're just less popular than you used to be. I, I, I'm sorry that uh, people decide they don't like you anymore. Um, let's go for 1939 um, industry techs. And also upgrade the handful of fighters that we're actually are making. We're only negative one all these, so I'm not too worried about it. I mean, it's a little bit of a debuff, but not so bad. Wow, I've noticed that Sweden is not doing, like, any of the decisions to actually try to unify uh, unify Scandinavia. Oh, no, they are. Okay, never mind. Everybody's actually focusing on this. It's nice. It actually makes us go by, like, three times faster. Because Norway and Sweden are doing these two. With ever-closing integration, it remains... The remaining custom borders have been proven to be an economic obstacle. The decision has therefore been made to abolish the remaining custom duties and create a unified Scandinavian single market. Okay, because we want to be the one that forms the Scandinavian, um... I mean, we'll do one more. Because once you're done this, you'll probably go for... Technological Corporation. And then, once you're on this, the Nordic Federation becomes available. I mean, we'll, we'll just tag switch whoever actually does it first. It doesn't really matter too much to me, uh, one way or the other. Because you'll finish this. Again, you'll probably do Technical Cooperation. We just gotta make sure that we are ready to pounce on. The final decision, once you're done this. Assuming you actually do it. Master Tillery, you are not going to do it. Okay, then. Then maybe Norway will do technological, technological cooperation instead. We'll kind of have to just wait and see. Uh, let's go for Nate. Actually, can I upgrade any of you guys? No. Let's go for... Fighter manufacturers, because that's the only kind of aircraft we're actually making at the moment. And with Philadelphia being split in half, or the American territory basically being split in half, I feel like it's okay then for us to uh, recall our volunteers. Bye bye, America. Um, I tried my best. I fought, you know, a decent campaign. I would say in northern, uh, in, you know, Massachusetts and in Boston, but unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. My Air Force, I think it's just like, it's like 60 fighters, I think. 58 fighters, that's about it. There's, there's really nothing else there. I mean, our industry just is garbage. Like, we don't, I mean, I guess we can go like one less on fight, or one less on, um, rifles more in air production. I mean, how many planes do our allies have? Sweden's got 110, 54. So, in total, all of us combined have just over 200 planes. But that's not... You know, crazy good. How many troops do you guys have? 6 to 11, 5 to 18. We'll send our volunteer to you. See if maybe you can get something done, but I'm kind of weary about that. Does this really take forever? 
mean, 70 days. I always forget how long 70 day focuses are. 70 day focuses just, like, last an actual eternity. Um, let's go for the basic. Eh, let's go for tactical bombers. Now, let's go for formation flying. Get our aircraft to be a little bit better. Upgrade artillery units. We now have 10 um, army experience. We can actually now put artillery pieces in our army. Took a while, but here we are. It'll be there on the 20th of October. So tomorrow you'll be in Greece. It looks like the Russians and the Germans are trying to help you out. And of course the international outside troops to the north. That's not a huge surprise. The question is, are you going to do... Yeah, technological cooperation. So we just got to make sure we are done our... Focus. And how long are you going to take? You're going to take until... 17 days. Go for you. Upgrade our rifles. Man, I'm not too sure what else we can really do here. Like, it seems like Greece might just end up being a stalemate until the second Vilda Creek happened, and then all the volunteer forces kind of just get forced out of the country. Okay, Kurdistan has revolted against uh, the Ottomans. They have one province, basically. Uh, good luck to you. It's going to fail miserably. Because do you still... Do you revolt this year? Yes. The war in the Middle East will be happening very, very soon. So, like, Kurdistan, if you had just waited three months for a bell... Then you would have, you know, you could have had something, but now you have nothing. You know, let's also start producing a, a little bit of light tanks. Just one. Hungary is still at war with Austria, which is... You know, I thought, I didn't think it would take this long. Okay, and you'll be done in 48 days. Do we have any focus that finishes faster than 48 days? 70, 56, 56, 56. The answer is no, we do not. So we just got, we're going to put on air production and just wait until. What's like one month from now? Yeah, like wait until Christmas. And then we want to make sure that we can pounce on Unify Scandinavia first. We want to be the country that's actually sending out a proposal. And not having a proposal being sent to us. I mean, they're, they're trying their best. I'll give them that. We're losing, you know... I mean, I guess 210 men is actually, like, a decent amount, but... Unless it's also including German... Loss as well, I'm not too sure, actually. Okay, China is now at war. Middle Africa, they have gone for the democrat or the you know democratic path. Okay, fine. We'll we'll do we'll do a quick little save. But I mean the auto save should save us just in case, anyways. At least that's my hope. Next, you're at war with all of you. You're all in the northern Zili clique. I mean, we'll see what everybody else does. If anybody wants to join the Fenian government or if well, I mean, the Chinese United Front might form as well. I'm not too, too sure. Go for air superiority. Just a little bit of air superiority doesn't hurt. And our Navy. I mean, our Navy, you know, 39 ships isn't that bad. It does mean we have more, um, more naval units and aircraft, but don't worry about that. Well, almost more naval units and aircraft. Here at 37. 
39. Like, we're holding on decently enough. Who else is any volunteers to? Any volunteers to Bohemia, Spain, and to Austria. Is Hungary receiving volunteers from anybody? No, they're not. Also, what? King of Spain, what the hell happened here? You were winning, like, pretty easily, and now CNT is going to win the war. How did that happen? What? Spain? Are you okay? Not what I expected at all. Okay, Syria joined the Cairo Pact. See if they can get anything really done. And you have 10 more days left. So we will cancel you. We can wait 10 days. Because we're going to be saving up, you know, a little bit of political power from this. Like, it just, it's amazing to me, because, like, the King of Spain was like, they were about to win. I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Like, this is one of the strongest internationals I've seen in a long time. And people already complain that Germany is not strong enough. Which, you know, to be fair, the AI, Germany, you can't really deal with the two-front situation very well. But, like, AI, Germany has no chance. They're, they're dead as hell. Okay, everybody's at war with you. You declare war on Cyprus. Cyprus Rebellion. You're going to fire tomorrow. I said you're going to fire tomorrow. And now, we're opposed to Nordic Federation. There we go. Our finest hour don't care about that. Yeah, I don't think Germany is, uh... Is really meant for this world. Okay, Natal joining on taunt. We see if South Africa does anything. Uh, third World War, War, South Africa's gold. I mean, I think if South Africa wins, like the Republic of South Africa, I think if you win, it does. You do join the Reich's Pact. It, it's absolutely it is Scandinavia time. And we're about half a year from the war beginning. And there's an election in October, so we'll see kind of like what happens. Yeah, we might just invade Germany and like take over all, like all of northern, I mean, you know, especially coal scene, of course. Um, and then maybe, you know what, like didn't Sweden own this territory at some point. And you know what, maybe also incorporate Finland into the Scandinavian Union as well. I think that was all make good sense. All uh, seems great to me. Okay, so you have 35 days. You don't want to take out free trade quite yet. Baltic Duchy. I mean, we'll try to take as much land as we can, because, I mean, Russia is, of course, going to, uh... Not appreciate our interest in the area. I don't know what these guys are doing. They're just kind of, uh, very confused. Okay, so, MacArthur, it was nice knowing you, but you are very much dead at this point. I mean, the CSA, I, I don't think the CSA has a great chance of living, though. Like, they're doing okay against MacArthur, but like, against Pacific, the Pacific States are not really, uh... Doing so hot. It's not as if the Canadians ever decide to intervene, which, you know, they don't have to, but. I mean, we'll kind of see. Anyway, if we're minus four in aluminum, let's import one from Germany. Yeah, it looks like Hungary's about to die. They really want me off this mountain. 
Like, it's never going to happen. This Hall's capitulated, so I think that means the Boar's probably going to win the war in South Africa. Somebody else has joined a faction. I'm not too sure who it was. Was it the Dutch? No. The Philippines, I think, joined me with the Japanese. Yeah, that would be my guess as to what happened. Because I actually did not see uh, what showed up. George is joining. Oh, you guys joined a Rags Pact. No, you joined Instable Pact. Okay. Okay, 96, 97, 83, but you still got pushed back. The expanded your front lines in Greece ever so slightly. Ottomans are not looking like they're having a great time. Azerbaijan, they're not worth a lot of people. Yeah, Portugal took over uh, territory from the Carlist. And so Carlist Spain is definitely just dead. And you've declared war on the Qing as well. So the Qing are now fighting basically a two-front war. We'll see if they can beat back the socialists or not. And, you know, Italy's also trying to unify the peninsula. I can't believe... Like, how many people have died in the war with Hungary? Um... Be this one, right? I mean... Oh, 350,000 men, 360,000 men. Swole Mongolia. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're looking pretty good. Okay, so you've done an order federation. I'm assuming you guys are going to getting a... Uh... Sweden has accepted a proposal. Sweden has expressed interest in joining a proposal to unite all the Scandinavian countries into a democratic federation. And Norway has accepted as well. So... Maybe this will invalidate subsidies. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. The creation of the Nordic Federation. Other Scandinavian countries have agreed to our proposed a proposal regarding federa federalization. Uh, according to its constitution, the Nordic Federation will, for now, unite... Uh, well, now... Okay. According to its constitution, the Nordic Federation will, for now... Until it can be addressed for, uh, by a proper federal government, of course, be a democratic federal monarchy. The executives will consist of the federal government, which holds the power on behalf of the council consisting of the Swedish, Norwegian, and Danish monarchs. The federal parliament will be based in Gothenburg, but all constitutional uh, kingdoms retain their individual institutions and autonomy. And there we go. The Nordic Federation, as soon as you're done loading in, now exists with our... Very, very blue color here. Economic policy. Some resources. We'll ignore all this for now. But I will go for oil, actually. We're at zero out of zero, but this will probably fix itself in a moment. We have... Okay, I think it's going to take a second for it to kind of realize what's happening. But the Nordic Constitution will be set. Um, we do need to fix all of this stuff. So go five on you. One and two. Two on light tanks. Five on fighters. Five on bombers. Follow you up with two on convoy and two on submarine hull. But we cannot do that because we have no actual points here because all of our points have disappeared. Uh, unfortunately. And our volunteers, I guess they're still technically down here. I guess you're not really part of a volunteer force anymore. Let's gather our forces. How many men do we have? We have... Uh... 24 divisions. I mean, this is 17. We'll put you guys on the border here. Um... Where's the rest of our army? Oh, up here, against the Russian border. Okay, we don't care about that so much. So let's unite our troops here. The formation of the Nordic Federation. 
After the signing of the Scandinavian Treaty, a transitionary government partially composed of civil servants with little active powers will be left in place that will co-govern the Federation with the national governments until we successfully ratify the Federal Constitution, which will then be established as the highest law within the Federation, above those of the member states, which will then allow them to coordinate elections to establish a government elected by the people. Thank you for 100 political power. Uh, we will assign you into this army. We will assign you into this army. You'll be on the Finnish front. Put you in charge here. And what's it? We have 24. We have 42 factories. So, hey, guess what? We're going to build more military factories in our country. Why are you here? How did you get to South Africa? I don't know, but I guess I won't ask. Don't worry about this stuff for now. Let's unite all of our navies together. And all of our aircrafts can just be in one convenient location as well. Also air support and a naval bomber. Crank you all up by 100 for now. Well, you guys can be cranked up to 50. I mean, yeah, they were probably volunteering, but, like, come on now. We have a 100-ship navy, which I think is pretty powerful. Uh, which is nice. Okay, now we gotta research stuff. I think all of the things we were researching kind of got cancelled, because that's usually what happens when you take switch. Um, so go for 39, 39, uh, do, 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 1940, research you, and then we'll go for 1940 infantry equipment, that seems good to me for now. Get our troops ready to position themselves to invade from the north, guys ready to invade from over here, we're at tw we're actually over our maximum. By two. Uh, we did also lose all of our um, power here, which is not great. Um, yeah, all of this also got reset, huh? Chief of Staff, Chief of Army. I mean, we got more options now, but... What are we missing? Yeah, the, the other planes. Don't worry about that. Like, we'll put... We got, like, three naval... Two naval bombers? I don't think we can have close air support actually research right now. So we won't really worry about that. I don't know what... What ideologies can we even go as, uh... Scandinavia here? First Nordic election, we got the Conservatives, the Liberals, and the Social Democrats. Um... But I think that's probably about it. Advanced integration. What do you guys want? Example standard model. Are they... Yeah, they're the final ones. They kind of have to do all the focuses first. Also, I like these party names. They're just various syndicalists, various liberals, various conservatives, uh, various nationalists. Just kind of like, eh, hey, who knows? They just kind of exist. But I would like more, like, I'd like at least, like, one more unit that I could build. That would be nice. I mean, Finland, do you want to join the Nordic Federation? I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. You want to join the Nordic Federation? You just drop pull for uh, direction? I don't think there's enough people in the... We do go, we do. Twitch chat democracy. I don't I don't know how to get the poll to actually work. I know there's like a polling option. Like slash poll. Oh I can, okay. Um So you go Liberal, social, democrat, 
and conservative. I have no idea how this actually works. Uh, it'll last for five minutes, I guess. And you know what? If you want to spend, if you want to pay bits to vote for extra votes, you can do that. Start the poll. I don't know how it works. Maybe it says somewhere on your screen, but I don't know. Assuming it actually did go through. Poll's already active. Okay, I don't know how you vote. But you figure that out yourself. So we're missing one troop here. Are you all... You're all 56, 56 eight focuses. So it's going to take probably a year or so to kind of get her away all the way through the end. Legislator branch, designated Nordic Parliament. Section 235. Five. I don't think I get to see the results until the last five minutes are actually over. It's a, it's a mystery to me which way the vote's going. But man, it's kind of cool that there's like the, uh, the, the, the polls that be, you know, they can be definitely be useful in the future. The Nordic Constitution, Section 1. Art, or Article 1. The Constitution shall apply to all parts of all constitutional countries in the Nordic Federation. 2. Which nation are considered part of the Federation shall be determined by federal law. Uh, the former government shall be that of a constitutional monarchy. The head of the federation is determined in part two shall hold royal power. Article three. Legislative power shall be vested in the Nordic parliament and the head of the federation conjointly. Executive power shall be vested in the cabinet. These are the first articles of the Nordic constitution. The debates are fierce, but an agreement shall be reached on the fundamental of our federation law. Please give me more political power because you took all of my laws away from me. Okay, um... Close cooperation in Nordic countries, or one equal representation in the federal government. You know, let's have equal representation. Rigged elections. Uh, I could, I had that option to to uh, to allow channel points to also get more votes, but I decided not to do that. Um, the only way you can vote is to give me ten cents, <laughs> or or I guess you have one vote, or you pay me ten cents and you get additional votes. If you, want, if you want to pay me money, you can vote however you want. It's Nordic dem democracy, baby. 